The Sports Desk is sponsored by Jim Butler Chevrolet, the Midwest's number one Chevy dealer, 10 years running. It's been a long time since Mizzou has won the big one, the game that shows the country they are for real. The Tigers had that chance today in Athens, Georgia, but when you're playing the back-to-back -back national champions who haven't lost a game since December of 2021, you have to be near perfect to pull off the upset. Eli Drinkwitz, a company looking to take control of the SEC East with a win today over the number two Bulldogs between the hedges. The start was good. Brady Cook airs it out, and guess who? It's Luther Bird in the third with another dazzling touchdown. Take a look at this one again. Great catch from number three. Not to be outdone, the other East St. Louis grad and former Tiger, Dominic Lovett, well, he scores for Georgia. We're tied at 10 at the half. Fourth quarter now, Mizzou trying to get back in it. They're down, and Cody Schrader is just a warrior. A couple years ago, he was scoring for Truman State. Now he's running for 112 yards and two TDs against Georgia. Tigers have a pulse. This was the big play. Mizzou down six, trying to take the lead with eight left, and Brady Cook throws a brutal pick to Georgia lineman Nazir Stackhouse. Cook would throw another pick later, but the game was all but over at that point. And Mizzou comes up just short in Athens. Bulldogs win 30-21. to yeah, there's a lot of hurt guys in that room. They put a lot into this one. Um, and uh, we knew it would be a four-quarter fight and, and uh, just, you know, disappointing to be so close but so far away at the same time. So, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll take 24 hours and figure out what it was, but there's still a lot of football left. Brett Bielema in Illinois had a better finish against Minnesota today. How about Isaiah Williams? The St. Louis kid had 131 yards receiving and two touchdowns, one from Luke Altmeyer and then one from backup quarterback John Paddock with 55 seconds left to put Illinois on top for good. The Illini win a thriller in Minnesota 27 to 26. They move to four and five on the season. The Blues were trying to get wins in back-to-back -back nights with Montreal in town this evening. Imagine if this pair gets going. First it's Jordan Kyrou, one nothing Blues. Then it's the other young star, Robert Thomas with a snipe, 2-1 to one Blues. It's 3-2 to two here when Alexei Toropchenko gets out shorthanded, and he is going to send this one home as well. Saad, Shen, and Kapanen, they added the other goals as the Blues win, 6-3. It was a huge day for high school football on the Illinois side. We went all over the area to bring you some highlights from our Metro East teams looking to advance in the playoffs. Metamora at Highland, the 9-1. Bulldogs are tough at home. This was a battle all day long. Big run from Dylan Beadle sets up Highland in good position in enemy territory. And later on, quarterback Blake Gelly going to use some nifty moves to find the end zone himself. This was a close one, but Highland hangs on. They win 41 to 36 to advance to the next round. Leroy at Altoff. The Crusaders are loaded with speed and talent. This guy has no trouble showing off that talent. Deere Hill Jr. is a menace, makes easy work of the defense for the touchdown. Later on, a bit of trickery on the reverse. They fake me out a little bit, too. It's A.J. Strong who gets the touchdown this time. Altoff wins big 56 to 20 to advance to the next round. Now, when I say the whole town of Roxana shows up to a Shells football game, I mean it. They were fired up for today's contest against St. Joseph Ogden. Check out this goal line collision. Boom, right there. Evan Wells wins the battle for the touchdown for Roxana. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Wells gets in for the two-point conversion as well. The Shells win a thriller 48-47. They're now 11-0 on the season as they advance to the quarterfinals. Glenn Bard West at Edwardsville. The Tigers are 9-1. Watch Patrick Chisholm shoot through this hole for the Tigers. He's gone for six points for Edwardsville. QB Jake Curry had two rushing TDs and two passing TDs for Edwardsville today. Here's one of his on the ground, and the Tigers advance with a 48-14 win. East St. Louis continues their quest to go back-to-back -back as state champs. They face Normal West today. Robert Pops battle can sling it with the best of them. A couple of long touchdowns in this game. Here's the first one that goes to Christopher Bennett. And he's going to hit Rico Bond on another long pass for six. The Flyers roll 54 to seven into the next round. Lincoln Way West at Collinsville. It is a big deal for the Hawks to host a second round playoff game. Nice play here. Darren Pinnell to Chase Reynolds. That's good for a score as Collinsville fans are going nuts. It was not the Hawks day though. Lincoln Way West comes to town and ends their season with a 43 to 19 victory. Also shout out Nashville, Modern Day, Bree Central. They all advanced too. We got a lot of teams still going. Mm. Tough luck for Mizzou today and don't uh, even get Gary and I started. We'll just yeah, ramble yeah, on yeah, for yeah. those deals. Forever. Yeah, we, we don't have we'll, enough time to get into we'll it. We'll let that one go. <laughs> Take it yeah, away. Yeah,